Along the fields of the scenic Bunnes and Keneal countryside, you'll find what is known as the most vast farming in all of Scotland. It's no wonder that many farm area residents like to farm to raise cattle, sheep, and pigs to provide the town of Bunnes and Keneal with food. Yet this is another star attraction that operated once to haul coal from the mines and it was extremely slow with a minecart and that meant the building of a railway. The original railway was built by the National Coal Board Railway and was originally hauling coal from the mines in Burness to the stations in Glasgow. The original trains would lose their jobs due to advanced transportation and high operating costs. So the National Coal Board decided to cease operation of the coal industry in Bonesse in the 1950s. Can you remember when was the last time you ever saw a steam engine running in person? One can't help but wonder, what must have it have been like to see in person what spirits of steam conjured up from an age that was left behind so long ago? What must have it have been like to see in person in the days when steam was king of the railway? It took thousands of hours for the Bunes and Keneal Railway's volunteers and employees to restore number 19, this saddle tank engine that you see in this video, to be restored back into working order. In a minute, you will see that we will board the cab and learn about some of the locomotive's history. I know this is not an oil burner, it's a coal burner. Yeah, it's a coal. That's the regulator. Okay. So And, and where's 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 the whistle cord? That's the whistle cord. Sure. Yeah. I can't I can't blow it to say I'd like to No. So you, so you, you do you guys have to watch out for for people at crossings? Oh yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And animals. And and you got to keep an eye on the lubricator steadily as she goes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so. Yeah. And you, you got to there's and if there's coal, and since there's coal to shovel, you need to you do. Like how many scoops at a time do you need to shovel? Um, well, I'm sure he does. Going up the hill, he's probably done about thirty or forty shovels. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So that's why he's looking. And how many it. gallons of water does this thing, uh, does this tank engine carry? Um, about two thousand. Oh wow! Yeah, and is this uh, is this uh, is this uh, uh, from? Okay, I thought it was from LMS or Great Western. Yeah, no, it was. It was okay. Used in a coal mine. Oh wow! Scotland, colliery. Yeah, colliery. Beautiful. And uh, when was this donated to the um, Otis and Keneal Railway? It was the 80s, so they got it. Okay. Yeah. And when was the restoration on it? Um, well, it had several restorations. It had about three restorations. Oh, wow. Every 10 years, you have to have a complete strip Yeah, you're restoring an 8F in the shops. Yes. Yeah, that's a long term project. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway, if you don't mind, we're, we're going to have to run around and get some Okay. 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 Yeah. Sounds good. After touring inside the cab of the locomotive and learning about some of its history, we get to see number 19 back out and move around the cars, but first needs to take on water.
The Bonnes and Keneal Railway also has a model railway adjacent to their station located inside an old dining car. Uh, how many engines at a time can you run this on? Okay. You know, they don't, they only have one in each track. Okay. At any one time, but if you look in there, you'll see them all lined up. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's them all lined up. Do any of them have whistles? Pardon? Do any of them have whistles? No, you have to have DCC for that. Okay. And these are all running on now. Oh, okay. <laughs> While visiting the Model Railway Club, I have been given permission to look inside the control center of the Model Railway that is located in the dining car right next to the dining car where the Model Railway display is located in. In case you're wondering how these model trains run between one car or the other, is that they have model tunnels for the trains mounted right within in the outskirt outside of the car. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was very cool. You're welcome. As number 19 fills up with water, we head over to our carriage of choice for the excursion. As you can see, when coupling up, you can't really see much of the coupling up from this point of view. And gee, it's sort of like you're almost driving blind when watching this sort of action. I know you can't quite see it, do you? In the garden drive... Sure you can. Yep, there it is. It's coming. It's coming. Isla, can you see? Yep, I can see perfectly fine. Plunk. That's basically a gentle bump telling that we're ready to couple up. As the train departs Bunes, you're already heading alongside Bunes's bustling shipyards and then en route into the Scottish countryside. Bunes and Keneal Railway operates 10 miles of open track between Bunes and Manuel Junction. Along the way, you encounter three tunnels and five bridges along the route. It's quite a scenic journey along the Scottish countryside. The one station along the line where the train occasionally stops is Keneal Halt. 
So if you wish to alight the train at Kineo Halt, you would have to inform the guard on the train because it's a request stop only. Brick Hill Station is another station along the Bunes and Canillo route. Don't have any information on its history, but if anyone watching this video does have any information on it, please let me know and I can update this video for you guys. After a brief stop at Burke Hill Station, number 19 continues the rest of the way of his journey with the westward bound excursion from Bunes to Manuel Junction. Once you have arrived at Manuel Junction, you will notice the Scott Rail Main Line. Trains uh, from there on out are limited to 90 miles an hour. Because of the zone speed, that would give number 19 plenty of opportunity to stretch her legs. But no, they do not have to share their trackage with Scott Rail. The Bunes and Keneal Railway has their own track, so they don't have to worry about schedules and freight trains. Anyways. Here the locomotive is switched and moved to the other end of the train for the return trip to Bunes.
He'll stop a wee second or two. It is bi-directional, if you will. I never can give him away if when he goes past. Here comes the train, look. Uh, to get to points, we had to get to the place where we point. Once the engine has moved to the other end of the train, hopefully everyone did have a good photo opportunity. And if not, then, well, you can always come back again. And the train is heading back for Bunes. Well, as you can see, Burke Hill Station is still dressed up with the banners from Day Out with Thomas event. And uh, once again, I do not have any information on this station. But if anyone is watching this video and does have any information on this station, please let me know and uh, I will update this video for you. Scottish farm countrysides are filled with greenery at this time of year especially and it's July as of the time that I'm uploading this video. One last stop is made at Keneal Halt, just east of tunnel number one. I just heard the whistle signal that we're going to we're, we're continue on the way back to Bonas.
After the train excursion, guests can spend time in the Museum of Scottish Railways and see all the exhibits and locomotives that are on display there. If you'd like to become a volunteer, a member, or even give a donation to the Bowness and Keneal Railway, visit our website at www.bownessandkeneal.co.uk. back at Bowness Station. The train has been swapped with a diesel from the steam engine, number 19. And we are now heading over to the Scottish Museum of Railways, the, Ra the Museum of Scottish Railways. Careful steps. Careful steps, careful steps. There we go. Just in Bowness Harbor. Right, right there is the harbor. You can see there's a there's a boiler off of a locomotive. Here's a section of track that doesn't go very far. It goes to that gate right there. Just here in the museum, Scottish. Train Muse Scottish the Museum of Scottish Transportation. Here's a model of a uh, British Pacific.
Here's a little saddle tank, uh, train arm, if you will. Yeah. Here is it. Here is right here. You will find a. This is a 6MT. Now, I'm not sure if this engine does run or not, but it kind of looks like it. I'm going to stick my camera in there. Sorry about my handshake. Yep. This museum is in conjunction with the Bones and Keneal Railway. And here we have, uh, um, I don't know what class that is, but I'll look at you that in a minute. Restoration. Yes, it definitely is a restoration. Yes, yep. That's what it's doing. Yeah. That car does look like it's being restored. And this is the work it's doing. Yep. See? So there is work. Yep. I can see the it. The floorboards I can see. printing the gangway. Yep. This is a. This is a. a a model of a, a, I think it's a live steam a model for, of a 440. Here's some more saddle tank tank engines. Um, it's a Kelton Fell Fell 040. Not sure that these run, but we can go up in the cab. There you go. That's basically everything that a normal, that normally a steam engine must cab must look like. Here's a Royal Mail Post, uh, Royal Mail Post uh, box car, box car. No, I mean rail car, whatever you want to call it. And there is a Eastern Road locomotive. This used to be for hauling mail, looks like. And right here we have a, I don't, we have, have another diesel, but that and that is inside of a diesel engine. Looks like kind of interesting. And as you can see, this is 
and actually they are restore they are at the moment they are restoring what it uh, an A to F steam locomotive into operation for use in excursions on the Bowness and Keneal Railway yeah. and uh, so it's undergoing full restoration into operation so should see that uh, in a few uh, years or so. Fairfield electric car. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And these are signals for uh, for a signal box, or handles for a signal box, if you will. And here's a model of a uh, a a 5XP Jubilee class steam engine, which is a another version of a Black Five, and. And if you look, this is a, I think it's a cattle car. Um, this is other materials. And if you want, if you want us to read that, pause the video now. Yes, this is Scottish, Scottish diesel. I don't know if you can. Yeah, no, I can't. I'm not quite. Sorry about my handshake, but yep. Now, now this is quite interesting, because as you can see. The switch, I can switch to either yellow or green or red. And I can switch the points as long as, that is as long as, uh, see the points just changed. Let me try that again. The signal just can jump to green and watch this. And on this side, this uh, I switch go to single yellow, go to double yellow, and to green. Ah, oh, it's burned out. Oh well. This is quite interesting. Very, very interesting. It's a watch, right? And left. This is very, very interesting. And that's how a junction works. works. That's how a junction would work. All I just want to say is that from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, on behalf of the Rail Fan Club, I would like to give a big shout out to the Bunes and Keneal Railway for allowing me up into the cab of yours saddle tank engine number 19, as well as sharing with me some of your history and showing me the control room to your model train layout. And I hope to see you guys again soon. And Hopefully you will continue to serve Bonus and Keneal for many more years to come, despite all the difficult challenges you guys have faced in recent years. Bye for now.
the video is currently over, but it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more and you know what to do. All you gotta do is click the posters. Click here, here, or here. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications for seeing more trains, aviation, and elevator videos, and much more. Until next time, bye y'all.